Well, we're still about as shocked as you are that Merrick Garland named a special counsel to investigate Hunter Biden. Now, Congresswoman Lauren Boebert said it best when she tweeted this quote. The same U.S. attorney who just tried to give Hunter a sweetheart deal. And then people wonder why we're skeptical. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is just a complete boulder dash that they would appoint the guy that just tried to hand over a sweet deal to get Hunter Biden off the hook. I wonder if we'll get any closer to the truth. But for more on this, I'd like to bring in Samus Bruner, Director of Research at the Government Accountability Institute and author of Fallout, Nuclear Bribes, Russian Spies, and the Washington Lies that uh, Enriched the Clinton and Biden Dynasties. All right, Seamus, this is kind of weird. We were talking a little bit about it in the A Block, but how much investigating does he need to do at this point? He either is going to charge him or not. Yeah, no, this is an abomination. This is possibly the worst day in the whole Biden cover-up saga. I mean, Weiss's office gave Hunter a sweetheart deal. Now they get to give him a special sweetheart deal. Um, there's, I mean, there, and it's so narrowly tailored around the the crimes that don't even matter so much as you know the tax evasion mm -hmm. and the gun charge. Um, this is just a way to push off further investigation into the FARA, the Biden family business dealings with China, with Russia, with Ukraine. I mean, the, bri the bribery allegations and the FBI's 1023. Um, this is it's kind of like this is how I thought of it. When they moved the crossfire hurricane investigation from the FBI D and DOJ over to special counsel Mueller, that really extended the get Trump effort. Well, this is extending the protect Biden effort. Yeah, it's like they're using the rules in, in their favor. And it's, it should be one standard for all. But Congressman James Comer, I mean, he's obviously seeking a lot more information on this. Take a listen to what he said on our very own Chris Salcedo yesterday. We have a few more associates to talk to. We're trying to get a few more of the shell company bank records. Uh, once we do that, I think we've made the case. I think we've already made the case now, but it's only going to be a stronger case that we need to see Biden bank records. Uh, they're going to be given an opportunity to be transparent with the American people. Remember, Joe Biden said he was going to be the most transparent president in the history of the United States. Well, Seamus, how much how much more red tape does this add for a House investigation if they want to continue to go after the same thing? And let's say they find enough stuff to recommend an indictment. Is that even possible at this stage because of the special counsel? No, oh, I think it is absolutely possible. And I think Congress can proceed. I mean, they, I don't think they'll be able to pull... David Weiss in front of the committee for testimony as they were planning to. Um, but no, they can, they can move forward. I mean, we've had actually for years, look, you've got eyewitness testimony. You've got Biden business partners who have flipped in Devin Archer, Tony Bobolinsky, and others. You've got Eric Schwerin possibly set to testify. Now, he's the money man. He'll know as much as Archer, if not more, yeah. and how all this money moved between accounts. But I mean, it goes on and on. You've got documents, primary source documents. You've got the laptop. You've got the bank records. You've got all kinds of bank records. So I think uh, Congressman Comer is right. They've got more than enough to move forward, at least with an inquiry, if not a full-blown impeachment. So, so what happens if at the point where Congress says, OK, we've got the goods. Here's the case. Lay it out. We recommend an indictment. It goes to the DOJ. What happens if Merrick Garland says, no, nah, pound sand, we're not going to charge him? Oh, I, I would fully expect that to happen. Um, you know, it's uh, and, and at the end of the day, Joe Biden can always pardon Hunter as, as you know, he may be able to pardon himself. I'm not a lawyer. Um, so that is that is a problem that, you know, we it will require a change in administration to actually bring true justice. But impeachment is a form of justice. Yeah. And then you wonder if this whole thing goes through a trial and they find him not guilty or whatever. Can they actually charge him with anything under the double jeopardy? Probably not. But I want to go back to special agent uh, and the whistleblower Joseph Ziegler's testimony just a few weeks ago. Listen to this. It appeared to me, based on what I experienced, that the U.S. attorney in Delaware in our investigation was constantly hamstrung, limited, and marginalized by DOJ officials as well as other U.S. attorneys. I still think that a special counsel is necessary for this investigation. Well, now they got it. It may not be the guy they were looking for, but, you know, there's a lot of questions swirling around this considering the guy was already involved and didn't really do a great job. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Agent Ziegler was overly fair to Weiss and his office. It's been pretty clear um, from the from the get go that the U.S. attorney in Delaware, David Weiss and his office, 
has been helping Hunter Biden. I mean, that's the reason that the yeah. judge threw out the sweetheart plea deal to begin with. The prosecution, David Weiss, and Hunter Biden's defense team, they're supposed to be on opposite sides of the table negotiating a plea deal. It became very <laughs> clear when the judge blew up the plea deal that they were sitting on the same side of the table. And so she sent them back to the drawing board, come up with a plea agreement that is more palatable, that I can sign off on, that's not so grotesque. Yeah. And instead we get a special counsel in uh, David Weiss who now, and this is, the, I think, the most egregious part of it, is now the Democrats can go out and say, oh, well, you got your special counsel. Now that now you, you, you Republicans need to shut up. James Comer uh, is just a, poli this is a political witch hunt against the Bidens. Why don't we let the facts play out? It extends the story past the election yeah. and with no justice. And without an indictment, it, re it you know it keeps the clock ticking on the, uh, the uh, statute of limitations. We could miss those for some of the things. Samus, we appreciate you being here.